May we invite Sri P. J. Kurian, Deputy Chairman of Rajya Sabha, for the felicitations. I have only three minutes, so I don't write the names, excellencies, dignitaries on the dais, brothers and sisters. Actually, I was embarrassed to receive a panada from Sri M. I am too small for that. I was humbled to receive a panada. What I need is your blessings. And Thank you very much. I am sure I have that. This event of Padayatra is going to be a historic one. Padayatra under the auspice of Manavayagata mission led by Sri M. Its objectives are most relevant to the contemporary India. The importance of interfaith harmony cannot be overemphasized. The other objectives, if accomplished, I am sure, will go a long way in contributing to a modern egalitarian India, as envisaged in our constitution, through its preamble and also through the directive principles of state policy. Friends, ours is a country with a number of religions, a diverse country, religions, caste, creed, languages, all that. But there is an underlining thread of unity, transcending all these barriers. Any effort to strengthen this underlining unity is an effort in the nation building and national reconstruction. Through this walk of hope, I am sure Sri M is doing just that. A nation is not made by geographical regions or just its boundaries. A nation lives in the hearts of the people. It is the emotional integration and unity of the hearts of the people that make a nation. If there is no emotional integration, the nation will fail. Therefore, any effort to strengthen the unity of the people by emotional integration and bringing to other people, that is to be encouraged because that is contributing to one India and oneness of India. This Padayatra, Walk of Hope, is contributing to the oneness of India, to the unity of India, for the emotional integration of India and to the national integration. Therefore, any patriotic citizen should encourage, support, and welcome this Padayatra. Sri M is a great son of India. He has discovered the soul of India. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru discovered India. And he has explained in the discovery of India how he discovered India. Sri M has discovered the soul of India that he has explained in his autobiography that is apprentice to a Himalayan master. Yes, he is one among the few who could find the real spirituality of India and the soul of India. Therefore, he is one among those great men who is in the that great category. It is very important that this Padayatra is starting from Kanyakumari, the importance of which was already stated here. Swami Vivekananda Ji came here and meditated in this rock near this place. And today is the 151st birth and anniversary of Swami Vivekananda Ji. And Swamiji said, all religions are like rivers. They 
flow in different directions but ultimately reach the same destination rigveda says ekam sat vipra bekuda vadanti truth is one sages call it by different names this is the essence of the spirituality of india this is the soul of india that has been discovered by sri m m is great son of india he has seen this greatness the spirituality and soul of india got enchanted by its greatness and that has kindled the innate energy in him therefore he cannot rest idle he has to walk he has to talk because that is the air which he has got from this great energy which he got enchanted by the greatness of india i salute him i love to walk with him but i am unable to do that but however my heart will be with you and this padayatra all through my best wishes for the success of this padayatra sri so, m guruji you are the disciple of great guru balaji i need your blessings i am sure i have your blessings with these words i once again extend a very hearty best wishes and greeting to this padayatra for its success thank you very much jai hind